So the other day I was perusing around US Game Systems website looking for decks that were being released that I've been eagerly anticipating and a deck popped up on that new releases section of their site that I had never seen before and I was like what is this and it's very strange because you know I keep I try and keep track of all that stuff it wasn't I don't even remember seeing it in their um their catalog that they put out at the start of the year that has all the stuff that is going to be inside of it. So I clicked on it to check out what it was and I looked at some of the images of the cards and I was like, I need to have this. So I bought it on a complete and total whim and impulse. And I have to say that it, I'm so glad I did. There must have been some part of my intuition that absolutely knew that this deck was for me. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. And it's very strange because when I purchase decks, I purchase them because I will use them. There's no deck in my collection that I will not use. Um, and so to completely buy something on an impulse was very strange. And even afterwards, I was like, oh, why did I do that? That was odd. But I got here and I love it. So stick around because today we're gonna dive into the Tarot of the Golden Wheel. Hey Tarot Tribe, it's Dustin from A Modern Metaphysic Man, and today I thought we could hang out and take a trip through the Tarot of the Golden Wheel by Mila Lysenko. This deck is a brand new deck um, published by US Game Systems, and uh, I think it's currently only available on their website. Um, this, I'm not gonna lie, was a complete and total impulse buy. Like, I saw the cover and I was like, oh, I haven't really heard much about this this deck. What is this about? And I kind of clicked on it and I looked at a couple of the cards and I was like, okay, I'll buy it. It's $22, that's fine. So uh, I bought it um, on a whim <laughs> and there must've been something about it that my intuition knew that this would be a deck I really enjoyed. So this is a deck that um, I've only worked with for about a week now, um, not even a week actually, it's only been like five days. Um, so, you know, this is a little bit of a more of a first impressions kind of video, um, but I've been loving it so much I wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, um, as always, I'll put a link in the description box below as to where you can find this deck and pick it up for yourself, as well as all of uh, my social media links where you can reach out and connect with me. I love hearing from you guys. And a link to my personal website where you can book a personal reading from me. And if you uh, like the channel and you like the content I produce, the best way to support me and the channel is to grab a reading from me. Um, so definitely check that out in the description box below. Click show more as a little down arrow if you are on the mobile app. So yeah, let's get, let's dive into this. Um, Tarot of the Golden Wheel. It comes in a really nice two-piece box. I have to say, if anyone from US Games is watching this, you're like the, the leap and bound that you guys have made in box quality is astounding. This is like independent deck quality packaging. It is amazing. It's really sturdy. Um, and yeah, it's it's just so good. I'm super impressed. And it, you, like I noticed this year that this has been kind of like the new standard for things, which is, I just think it's awesome. So this deck is inspired by the magic and wisdom of Russian fairy tales. Tarot of the Golden Wheel interprets traditional tarot through the prism of colorful Slavic folk culture. In this radiant deck, the Golden Wheel, a sacred symbol of karma, the sun, and infinite cycles of life, conveys the fool on his journey through the major and minor arcana. And then the usual blah blah blah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's a really nice box. It's just it's so nice. Um, and so yeah, let's open this up. On the inside, it just has a really nice purple uh, paper. And then you do get a nice little two-piece box, uh, two-piece box, uh, guidebook. And the guidebook's pretty, pretty standard. You have upright and reverse meanings, as well as a brief description for each of the cards. There is a little bit more information on the major compared to the minor. So just pretty standard stuff, um, nothing mind blowing. There's a little bit of a background on the concept of the deck, which I think is really wonderful in the introduction. Um, and yeah, it's, you know, 
it's a pretty good little book. Nothing, nothing mind blowing. I love these the way these uh, decks are printed too. And then in the back you get um, some specific. Uh, notes on reading the cards and the, their uh, unique spread, the golden wheel spread, which I think is wonderful. Um, and then a lovely little page about the artist, which I love. So um, I love it when they include these things. It's great. And then, yeah, so it's a really nice little book. Um, super impressed US games. Like the quality of the stuff is... <laughs> is amazing especially for the price i mean this was 22.95 i think us plus shipping of course um and this is the quality that you get from independent uh deck creators for like it's usually between 40 and 60 dollars so i'm just i'm really impressed the inside of the bottom box has that same purple paper and then the card backs have this really lovely golden wheel motif that is reversible so if you read reversals or if that's important to you it, you have that it is us games cardstock so it's really really nice cardstock on the thick side with uh, a slightly glossy but yet still matte finish um, which is really really awesome the card size is a little taller uh, than standard tarot. So this is a card from the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. So as you can see, it's just slightly taller, which is kind of cool. I do like um, the longer cards. So as always, we will do a flip through of the deck and then we'll come back and talk about some of the cards that stood out um, to me and things that I really enjoy about this deck. So yeah, the Tarot of the Golden Wheel.
So that is the Tarot of the Golden Wheel. It is a really, really beautiful deck. As you can see, um, it's very uniform. The color palette is exquisitely well done and well picked. Um, everything, it, it's, it's so... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's so congruent. Um, everything is done with line drawings and watercolor, um, and watercolor is definitely my my new obsession right now. <laughs> um, as many of you have probably noticed on uh, my Instagram, if you follow me over there, I've been posting a lot of my, my watercolor paintings. Um, so yeah, this deck just really really has stood out to me. It's so well made. Um, I love the borderless uh, cards. The printing is really well done. The colors are perfect. The font is perfect. Um, even the amount of, of room afforded the title is just really wonderful. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's a really, really good deck um, that's really affordable. I mean, it's as good, if not better, than some of the indie decks that I've gotten. So, yeah, it's it's amazing. I do love how it follows a very close uh, RWS sort of system. So if you're familiar with that, you should do fine. A lot of the card meanings are the same. Um, so, you know, you'll recognize those things, right? Um, I do love the aces in this deck. Actually, the aces are some of my favorite cards. In fact, when I was uh, first sort of looking at this deck, the aces are really what stood out to me because of how just amazing they are. Um, and you know, I'm not super, super, super familiar with you know the the fairy tales of you know, Russian and Slavic traditions. Um, I am of Slavic heritage, which is, you know, kind of a shame. Maybe I need to work on that. What are we missing? We're missing wands. Wands, wands, wands. Uh, three, two, one, there it is. So the, the aces are just really gorgeous. Um, and, you know, you still get the same sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? elemental associations with each of each of the suits which is really great so very earthy in the coins very watery in the cups very air like in the swords and obviously very fire like in the wands which is really great um some of the cards that have really hit me home the five of cups in this deck um it's just it's it's really powerful um i i really found that one to be um really interesting and it really struck me when i saw the imagery the nine of wands i thought was just perfect um for that whole concept of um ha being almost at the end of that journey and all of the things that you've gone through and you fought and you've battled and now it's raining right like um, it's just that reminder that, you know, it, it's not always rainbows and butterflies at the end of, of a journey, right? Um, they're hard fought. Um, the court cards are really beautiful in this deck, each and every single one of them. The two of wands I thought was really interesting, um, cause here we have a little bit more of a, of a conflict style card. So I thought that was an interesting sort of departure from the traditional, um, RWS. Um, I loved the seven of wheels, which is really wonderful, um, because they're like, he's like actually planting them, um, which I thought was wonderful. So, yeah, I mean, the, the deck is just great. The Major Arcanas are gorgeous. I love this sort of Mother Maiden Crone seasonal um, triple goddess aspect to the world. The Judgment card is just gorgeous. Um, and the sun and the moon in this deck. Can we talk about how awesome these are? Um, and I like that we have, you know, we, we still have the youth, we still have that red flowing almost flag. It's just very, it's very beautiful. The, the moon doesn't have the traditional crustacean, but we still have that like wolf dog aspect, which we have in traditional tarot decks, which is really wonderful. The hermit in this deck, I just loved. 
Um, I loved that it's a firefly is his lantern. So he's got a firefly in his, the palm of his hand. I know it's a little hard to see, um, but I just thought that was a beautiful, beautiful interpretation of his lamp. Um, and then of course the fool. I just love this. The, the, the pose of the figure of this fool is just one of my favorites. And I love that he's reaching for the moon. I just thought that was really gorgeous or the sun i guess it could be the sun as well um because it is a daytime scene <laughs> um but i don't know like when i when i first look at this uh looked at this image i i kind of felt like it was one of those full moons in the day type things right where um when especially here in colorado uh because the altitude is so high that you get this really beautiful uh, contrast of the really deep blue sky and the full moon so yeah those are my thoughts on the deck i would love to hear what you think about this deck if you've heard about this deck before if um if it's one that you own, do you really enjoy reading with it? It's given me really good readings, um, the ones that I have done in just the last few days that I've had it. Um, I love this Eight of Cups. Oh, I love the Eclipse. It's just, uh, it's so beautiful. The artwork is stunning. I have a feeling that this is going to be um, a really go-to deck that I use quite often. Um, so I'm excited to dive more into the to the guidebook, kind of research more about the, the folklore that is behind the inspiration of a lot of these cards. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for all your love and your support and for coming and hanging out with me to talk about the tarot. Um, as always, all of the goodies and information and links are in the down box below, so be sure to check that out. And yeah, remember, everyone's fighting a battle that you know nothing about, so be kind, always. Bye, everybody.